Burke's coming out attacking the head. Yeah, pulling with two hands. Nice job. They come up over under position. <clears throat> and he tries for an arm throw, but he's going to get countered two on the board for Fagan. And he's got a trapped arm here. And he takes it through. We got a blue brick on the mat. And yeah, they want to slip. And this trap arm. That's going to do it. If it's not a slip, the match is over. So the officials will go back and look at it. To be honest, I thought it might have been a slip. They're very lenient with the slip rules. In Greco-Roman wrestling, it's, it's whether or not did Fagan catch him and stop his move before he went down. I don't think this is going to get changed, but maybe another look would change my mind. I think they're going to put it on the point on the board is what I just saw. And if it doesn't uh, get changed, that's back-to-back. -back yep. 9080 Tech Falls. So, well, let's see here. Slip is called. Well, I was wrong. <laughs> What's new? Back to the action here. And seconds back on the clock, too. Now at 240. Like I said, they're very lenient with that slip call. It's whether or not did Fagan catch Burks and stop, stop his move. And while it was slowed down a little bit, I don't think Fagan caught him. Back to that arm spin, and once again, we're going to see a slip. This time, no challenge needed. Berg circling back to the center. Fagan taking ground. Passive on Burks offered and confirmed. That'll be a point and he'll go down. Fagan locking up a gut wrench. Now committing to the right. Ooh. Keeping his feet moving, and he's got it. He's still got it locked. Now hopping up to his feet, looking for a body lock, and he's going to slip. Standing back up. Minute 19 to go. Score now 3-0 to zero in favor of Jonathan Fagan. One minute to go here in the first. Fagan with the underhook on the right side, they clear. What? 
short time here in the first period. Burke's consistently staying a little bit lower than Fagan. And Fagan making oh. a late push at a point. Came close. Yeah, tried to sneak one there at the end. Fagan, a sophomore at Cornell. Burks, a sophomore at Northern State. We've got blood coming from the nose of Burks. So they'll be attending to that before Burks comes back to the map. that physicality we were talking about. Fagan with a deep underhook on the right side. Control center of the mat. Burks clears. And another attempt at an uh, arm spin. And another slip. with the a mat. body lock. He goes back to it, gets the hands locked. And they stop it. Why'd they stop it? He uses his leg. Offensive foot foul. All right, fair enough. Minute 51 to go in this. And nose plug. <laughs> yeah, you want to get that off the mat. <laughs> Burks diving in, gets a little off balance. Now diving for a body lock, can't get it though. Burks corner wants a passive call. Burks swinging for the fences there with that headlock. Yeah, another slip. And Fagan threatening with that seatbelt kind of hipping in. Now clears the tie. Fagan now in front headlock position. He's going to run behind for the takedown. Extending his lead to five with a minute to go. Burks taking his time, getting back to the center. And the trainer's gonna come on to the mat yep. here. Blood time, plug the nose back up. That's a uh, for brand new nose plug, just to you know, make that clear. Mm -hmm.
Heavy Hit. snap, oh. Burks. Just Locked too up sweaty. the head pinch for a second, and they're going to go slip. Just 40 seconds remaining now. And Fagan's just going to take him to the edge. And Burke's going to walk out of bounds. Yeah. Almost could have seen a caution one there. Yeah. Score now 6-0. to zero, 12 seconds to go. And there it is. Jonathan Fagan, your winner. <laughs> he said 245-pound <laughs> deadlift, baby, let's go. Oh, that was great. <laughs>